Summoner Fighter is the pet class of PSO2. While not fighting directly, they command an array of powerful creatures to fight in their stead, with different abilities that allow the summoner to fill either damage or support roles depending on the needs of the party. Let's take a look at their skill trees. First, put one point into HP up to open up your tree. Grab Sidestep Jump, First Arts Perfect Attack Edition, Air Reversal, Perfect Recovery and Attack Combo, and Double Jump as soon as you can. When you reach level 80, max out High Level Bonus Summoner. Next, grab Assist Share, which will transfer any buffs on your current pet to another pet when you switch between them. Follow this with Pet Switch Strike, which converts your pet damage to melee damage. The next skill to grab is one point of HP Restorate, which will give you access to more of your tree while granting you health regeneration if you have less than 50% HP. Next, max out All Attack Bonus 1, which grants a bonus to damage you and your pet's deal. The next skill is essential. Max out Pet Sympathy. With this skill, your pets will occasionally ask for you to cast Shifta or Resta on them. When you do, it grants a bonus to pet recovery and damage. Follow this by maxing Dia Master, which allows your pet, your active pet, to take a fatal blow for you, saving your life. The next skill to max is All Attack Bonus 2. Next, we are going to upgrade Pet Sympathy with Harmonize Up, Sympathy Time, Easy Sympathy, and Long Distance Love. This makes pet sympathy requests happen more often, last longer, and improves their effects. Next, max out Summoner's Mark, which allows you to place a marker on enemies that, when applied, grants a damage bonus to attacks made by you and your pet to that enemy. Upgrading this with Enhanced Mark makes any part of an enemy targeted with Summoner's Mark give the damage bonus instead of just the part the mark is applied to. Next, put 3 points in Pet Recovery, which gradually recovers your active pet's HP over time. Now, max out Pet Elemental Precision Hit and Pet Elemental PP Restorate, which grants a damage bonus and PP Regen bonus when your pet attacks with an enemy's elemental weakness. Follow that by putting 4 points into Total Attack Up and Max Out Total Attack Mega Up which will boost your attack power, and in turn, your pets. Lastly, max out Alter Ego, which, when activated, grants a temporary damage boost. However, you take damage whenever your pets do while this is active. The fighter skill tree in this build is used to make your pets hit a lot harder. Max out melee power up 1, 2, and 3. Max out high level bonus hunter when you are level 80. Next. Max out Valiant Stance, Valiant Stance Up, and Valiant Critical, making your pets deal more damage when they attack enemies from the front. Next, grab Adrenaline, which makes Shifta and Deban buffs last longer on you. Max out Halfline Slayer and Deadline Slayer, which will increase the damage you and your pets deal when you drop below 50% HP, and even further when you drop below 25%. Next, max out Photon Slayer, which boosts your attack power when your PP falls below 50%. Lastly, max out Crazy Beat and put 3 points in Crazy Heart, which grants a damage bonus and a PP regen bonus when affected by a status ailment. For traveling, we use the technique Safoe Type 0, which cloaks the user in flames and makes them dash forward. Our best pet for mobbing is Jenga. This fox-like creature is great for dispatching groups, but falls behind when fighting single targets like bosses. For bossing, Synchro is the go-to pet. While having lower HP and defense, its incredible damage potential makes up for this. Although it's an extremely rare drop, Rappy is an excellent pet to use as a stand-in while you wait for Synchro to revive if it's defeated. Rappy is useful for bossing, but trades the damage Synchro can do in exchange for having high defense and high dexterity. The skill rings we use as a summoner are Nearby Auto Target, which makes your pets automatically attack nearby enemies, and Perfectionist Tech, which grants a tech damage bonus when your health is above 75%.
Lastly, you should be building a tech mag with 200 levels of tech support.